Hi friends, very important video and in this video I'm going to tell you the, the real thing, the fact. Many of you have this question, I mean how to be fluent. I know you are you're looking for the answer. Every person who wants to be fluent and confident is looking for this answer. And there are many, uh, many people, YouTubers and trainers and teachers and your friends and your relatives are telling you that do this and you will be fluent. Do that and uh, read grammar books. Most of you will be telling grammar books. Most of you will be telling that, okay, uh, use this technique. Well, do they have the right to tell you? Do they have that experience to tell you? Do they, do they deserve to tell? Have they experienced it? Okay, in this video, I'm going to tell you actually how to be fluent. What are the methods? And no, 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 I'm not going to tell. I'm going to tell you who is the right person to ask this question? Don't trust me. Trust that person. On my channel, I speak authentic things. I speak the fact. I speak the truth. And the, the reason is communication skill, psychology, emotional personality, public speaking is my life. This is not a profession for me. This is my life. This is my God. <laughs> this is I worship. This is I live. This is I am born for. I believe that there are two important days in life. First, when you are born. And second, when you come to know why you are born. I am born for all these things. And I have never cheat my profession. Never ever cheat my profession. Never cheat my students. Authentic things I will tell on this channel. Which I have been telling. And I will keep on doing that. Hang on. Have some patience. I know there are other videos which are popping up there. If you really want to know the answer... Don't fast forward. Listen slowly at a normal pace. Let me begin. Well, let me ask you one question. If you want to be a good businessman, who is the right person to ask for advice? Will you go to a person who is doing a job or who is, doing a, who is already doing a business? Of course, the answer is you have to go and ask a person who has done business and who has experience, who has done it. With the same notion, if you want to be fit, trim, very healthy. Who is the person? I mean, I'm going to ask that person who is himself plump, himself he is not fit. Are you going to ask a person who himself is very fit? Of course, answer is the person who already has done that, who has gone through this. There is no point in asking those people who have who don't have the experience in that field. With the same analogy, if you want to be a, want to understand, I mean, how to master fluency and how to be good communicator. Ask that person who has himself done it. But what happens is there are many trainers who himself, they, they themselves are from convent schools and they are from native speaking countries, I mean English speaking countries and they give you advice. Unfortunately, they don't know themselves because they haven't done, haven't gone through that. They haven't experienced it. And if you are asking a person who hasn't experienced it, who doesn't know how to do it, what is the point in asking him? He is going to give you some textbook advice, not experiential advice. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm from Marathi medium. I live in Sangli. I mean, it's, it's in Maharashtra. And, well, I, I'm, I mean, I'm not from an English-speaking country. I, I don't have English-speaking surrounding around me. I was not fluent in English till I finished my engineering. Today, I'm a trainer. And I think I'm the best person, but don't ask me. Ask the person who is a non-native speaker, non-native means not born in English-speaking country first and he should not be from any convent school. Ask that person who is fluent in English but not from English-speaking country or he has, is, is not coming from a convent school. This is the right person to ask. Ask him three questions and he will give you the honest answers. First ask him, ask him, have you studied grammar? Have you studied grammar? He will say, I studied grammar in school, but after that, never. I'm sure he's going to say this. Second question you can ask him is, how long it took you to become a better communicator? And he will say, well, I don't know. I don't remember, but maybe months or years. Exactly. That is, that is the fact, actually. As I said at the beginning, I'm not going to give you any mumbo jumbo hyperbole talk here. I'm here to talk the facts because this is my passion 
training students is my passion. I mean, I love this. I'm doing this not only for living because I live for this. Not for living, but I live for this. He is going to say it. It took him many months and years. And last question, ask him. And he will answer it. Have you developed your language by studying? Like you study any subject or has your language developed unconsciously? You never realize that your English is improved, your language is improved. And I'm sure that he will definitely say that, well, my language developed without knowing. I mean, I, I just was surrounded with good people. I was uh, following some good habits of reading and, you know, podcasts and all. And I mean, I don't know. After uh, some years, I, I realized that, yeah, my English is getting better. Years, huh? not days or months, years. This is the reality. Ask that person and he will tell you the facts. So guys, I'm sure that you don't like this because no one likes all these things. I mean, if someone is saying that it will take you months and years, who is going to take it? No one. Everyone wants to listen some sweet news like, oh, in 21 days and 45 days. Hogwash. Hogwash. Don't trust. Now it's your choice. Go and ask that person. Go and ask that person. And then write in the comments what that person has answered. You can stop this video, go and ask a person around you, maybe your friends, your relatives, your colleagues, your boss, and then write down. Let us check. Let us be authentic. Let us have the proof. Ask and write down. And then you will realize that most of the people are telling you, are foxing you. They're telling that in 21 days and no. And in my course also, I never tell my students that in two months and three months, it's going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Great, guys. So, enjoyed speaking with you. And I'm eagerly waiting to know your comments. What's your experience? Ask and write down here. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.